So, greetings fellow undercover users. Um, this is a series where I show you guys all the fun things I found about using this weapon. Um, the tech I want to show you this time is uh, my favorite one and it's for me the most useful one. So, let's get into it. So, um, the undercover brella um, is known for being not very the most uh, useful weapon of all. Uh, but let's ignore that and let me show you what I found. Bruh. Or what's wrong with it? So um, let's get into it. Bing! So the idea is to play the undercover brella like a splat brella. Um, this is how it looks. Bing, bing, ding, 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 ding. So you're probably thinking, why should I do this if you're, I can just do this? There's no difference at all, the speed and all. But there is one secret ingredient. Run speed. So let's start with normal crawling, the normal undercover play style. This is um, safe but a bit slow. Okay. Now we do the Brella, like the um, play style of uh, the Spad Brella. We just spam because it's the fastest. Boop. Now we do the under normal crawling with three run speed mains. Bloop. Bloop. And now we do the undercover with three uh, run speed mains. Bloop. And now finally we do the splat brilla with three run speed mains. And that's all, so let's compare them. They're the same picture. So let's see the ranking. Um, the first place is spamming with three mains, followed closely with doing the brella. Um, the difference between them is not really noticeable, so I would just say forget spamming at all, it's not really useful. Um, then it's Lad Brella, also followed by half a second, but half the second is for me enough to say undercover is faster. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Horse. What are your feelings about that fall? Mmm. No, sir, I didn't like it. And um, the fourth place is um, doing the Brella undercover normally, taking a higher spot than I ex uh, expected, beating, playing the normal crawling undercover with three mains run speed. So if you're thinking um, three mains on normal undercover, um, there's a low chance at all that you will see some crawling undercover doing this. And that is even slower than getting no mains at all and pl playing the um, Brella style. Um, so this is like a clear sign that um, crawling is the best option if you only crawl. Um, the last place is the normal undercover. Uh, 
it's slow <laughs> like really slow um, so if we compare the first and the last place and uh, between them are around three seconds um, three seconds in speed um, now that's for me a big enough difference to maybe try this thing out I guess please so now after we compare the speed there's one thing that's um, still speaking for playing it like a brother uh, if you have noticed I didn't notice till I made this video so uh, the brother recovers doesn't recover at all ah, okay so the brother doesn't recover at all if it's open Let me see see I'm holding it open and um, it's not recovering at all this is a bad thing because um, your shield is damaged and then crippled I, I can say it's crippled and enemies are going to uh, murder it in like half a second so um, I'm going to try to see what, how much difference or how much health you can regain by just playing it like a splat brother. And let's see how it goes. I just want to see how long this shield can last. This, uh, oh yeah, this, this is fine enough. So here you can see um, that the shield doesn't really recover while you're crawling around. So. Um, now you can see how long it takes while standing to be normal again. Yep. If the difference in recovery is there. Ah, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to play normal. I'm shielding. I'm holding the shield, yeah. On 50 damage. It's still there. It's still there. It's still there. It's gone. So this is uh, the normal um, crawling. I'm flanking it a bit. It's a bit easier to get the damage. Oh, perfect! So now I'm doing the brella, and as you can see, look at this. Look at this difference. This is amazing, man. This took just a few seconds, and it's back. Another good trait is um, that you can jump higher than crawl, crawling under covers. Let me show you. So I'm going to tr try to climb this while holding the sh shoot button. As you can see, I'm already at my limits here. This is kind of sad, but I can't really climb higher than this here. This is a max I can climb while crawling around. Now I'm going to do the brella this year look how high I can climb okay so the reason I can climb higher is um, that's also a brother technique it's not from me it's always been there for splat brothers so um, if you have sh your shield open and jump you can only do this small lifted jump that's not really reaching any height um, but if you shoot and then jump, like I'm shooting and then holding jump, I don't l lose any height at all. So the last uh, good trait about playing it like a spread blader is um, the automated shots. The automated shots um, are harder to land because you don't shoot them yourself. You're not aiming every shot. You're holding and it's shooting in a specific amount of time. And this is going to result in you having a bad aim and not getting to kill your enemies. Because um, Undercover needs good shots or else you're not doing a lot of damage. As you can see here, I'm only doing 12 damage. And that's a big problem. And that's why people are going to say Undercover can't kill. That's because the automated shots are going to mess up your aim. If you're um, playing like a spread burner, Every shot you're doing is aimed by yourself. You're not getting automated shots. 
and it's going to be way easier here to land good shots. Here. So one good point about playing the umbrella like crawling is the shot fire rate because it's a little bit faster. So you can see this is the speed um, when you crawl around and this is the speed when you do the umbrella. So you can see you can get fast with it if you get the rhythm right but it's still I guess slower or as slow or well, it's just slightly slower than um, doing the undercover and it's way more protected so if you're in danger this is still the main way to protect yourself but first you can still try to get far away um, the fire rate is nice and all, and the best way to play undercover like a spread brother is to not forget that it's an undercover. So first I was like only going spread brother uh, style, but um, that's kind of sad because your undercover can still do the undercover stuff. So the best way is to combine both play styles into one thing. So for example you're shooting double shots. This way you, you get the fast second shot and you are protected. This is a combination I use very often. And as a finisher you can just do the brella or you often I do the brella and finish them with this here. Yep. So that's the moves I'm going to show you literally. Um, I'm going to dive deeper later. Um, just remember to have fun and if you don't want to use the Brella style, um, it's fine. I just, I'm just tired of seeing people crawling around all the time and then saying it's a terrible and garbage and let's throw it away. Because the weapon has so much potential and I have so much more tech I can show you guys. But um, I'm going to show them in little bits because there's always something new coming up. Uh, I can give you a little spoiler what's going to come. So, so I think the next, after I'm going to show you how Splat Brella stuff is going to work, I'm going to show you that you can trade your bomb uh, shield with bombs pretty easy when you are going with Splat Brella. Ah, good. Ah, and I die. Um, if the bomb is behind you, for example, you can still save yourself. I mean, yeah, I used Y here to turn around quickly, but it's possible. The second is that you can do the same thing with a lot of specials, like Trizuka and Weave Slider. They don't have a chance against you. Um, then I'm going to show you one tag that's also really important later. Um, I only found it like a few days ago, so it's still rather new for me, but this tag is also common by shooters. I can show it to you in shooter form. Um, yeah, let's go air spray. So this tag is going to be this here. You're holding the shoot button and swim. It's many people use this already to escape situations and blah but um, if you do this with undercover um, it's looking like this you will probably think it's stupid and not good but because you are stuck in opening the umbrella like this it's the fastest way to get out of ink and get your shield open so this is the main way for you to uh, fight against platanas and blasters by just outmaneuvering them and they can aim at you and you just murder them with this. So this is going to come too. Um, then I'm going to show you some mine tricks you can do with mines. There's also one thing I really like but it's still impossible to land. Uh, land. It's the one shot. 
combo with mine. Um, then I'm going to show you Reef Slider stuff. And that's basically it, I guess, for, for now. Every time you shoot, you can... Your shield is ready, you can hold it anytime. So it's not as as bad for you. If you like crawling, just paint like this, it's faster and easier, I guess. And then if someone is coming close to you, you can just hold it and do this, your favorite crawling again. Uh, yeah, that's basically doing the brella. 